tonight sold out over at the pageant. Tonight it is all Jay. How's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm so excited for um, your show this evening. Thank you. I was just telling you before we uh, jumped on the mics how much I love An Awesome Wave. It is a fantastic album from beginning to end. And so personally, um, you know, as DJs, we listen to a lot of the music and of course... I Alternative rock is my favorite, but every time I hear Breeze Box and finally when we started moving on to the other singles, I'm like, yes, I just can't wait. I'm like waiting for Fitz Pleasure to come out. I'm like, is this going to be the third single? Is it going to be? <laughs> oh, great. So yes. I'm really excited yes. to see you guys tonight. Um, can you tell me a little bit of how you guys got together and got the group? Formed? Yeah, yeah. We, we all went to um, Leeds University in the north of England and we all sort of made friends in our first year and um, decided we wanted to be in a band together. So Joe, Joe was kind of the one who was keen to start a band and um you know he knew the rest of us would probably be interested so you know yeah he got us together and sort of towards the end of first year beginning of second year yeah because you guys have been together since 2008 so still it's only been a few years yeah and, and in the last couple it's really taken off i mean Lollapalooza, uh coachella glastonbury sasquatch what haven't you guys done i mean what's been a highlight for you since things have really picked up i think um yeah doing festivals is always a real highlight because they're you know experienced by so many people and places that you know festivals are things you've heard of and they're always fun events so getting to play at some big ones like like sasquatch and coachella and and then glastonbury in the uk has been huge highlights of this year you guys have been kind of bouncing back and forth too it's um you know, not being from the United States, also yeah. hopping over here for a couple of months and then heading back. You guys did South Africa. Where uh, have you found a favorite um, place to play? I mean, um, we enjoyed going to Australia for the first time because that was so far away from. You know, we'd been to America before for you know other things other than the band. Some of us, but going to Australia was really exciting. But I think also the fact that we've got to travel all over the states and not just sort of see the coast or something has been a big thing for us. Like we love coming into, you know, into the middle of America, into the Midwest, and places like this and. And, you know, seeing, you know, parts of the country that not everybody always goes to. So that's really always exciting. And finding you have fans there. This is kind of an epic moment that somebody said they love coming to the Midwest. I'm feeling pretty <laughs> solid about that. Like, I really like visiting Australia. And then St. Louis is really a good place. Well, yeah, to go. yeah. It's been, it's been, you know, this part of the country, I think, particularly, has been really great for us. You know, we've got lots of fans here. And that's, so we, we love that. Well, a lot of your songs um, have been featured on television shows and such. And I was watching Silver Linings Playbook recently. Yeah. And then I was like... This song, this, this Buffalo song, this is all Jay. So you guys wrote and produced that specifically for the film. Is that yeah, correct? exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. So that was um that was sometime late last year. Yeah. Is that something you see yourselves doing more in the future? I mean, there's a lot of artists, um, M83, and uh, obviously Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails that have really worked into getting into scores and film work. Is that something you guys? Yeah, I mean, interesting? like this year after Silver Linings Playbook, we've worked on two other um, film score projects. So, you know, one was pretty full on, like composing all the music for a film and the other was much more, um, you know, seg more of a segment for sort of a nature film. But yeah, it's something that really interests us and we've, we've always been interested in doing it. So now having the opportunity and the platform to do that from is, is great. Is there a certain film director you'd love to work with if you could, if you could pick, pick one and you'd love to add to his film specifically or her film? Um, probably Shane Meadows, who's a UK filmmaker who made a film called This Is England, which was quite well known. Or he's made lots of films, but you know they're all quite indie. A lot of them are quite indie, but he's one of all of our favorite directors. I was hopeful there was somebody I knew and I could call them. Sorry, and make it happen, <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to be possible. So, um, what's coming out next? Are you guys are you one of those bands that works on the next record while you're touring and stuff, or do you like to just get <coughs> through the tour? then get back, take a break, get in the studio? Um, it's really hard for us to work on the road, I think, because we're not used to it and we, the our first album was very much written um, in a sort of, you know, just in a, like a relaxed environment of being, you know, students at university and hanging out in the evening. So being on the road, we find, I think it's just best to just enjoy yourself and keep yourself sort of, um, keep your feet on the ground as much as you can. And it, for that, for us, that means taking off the pressure of writing. But inevitably stuff does get done on the road and we just make a lot of recordings on our phones and kind of then go back to them when we're back home and have more time to look at stuff. So yeah, I mean, the second album is something we're really keen to, you know, go into the studio and do and we've done some work on it so far. So it's Well, exciting. hopefully sometime soon you guys get a break and then you can do that and put that out because yeah. I have worn the first CD down. I'm surprised it still plays in my CD player. <laughs> I, I also just admitted Excellent. that I use the CD player. So that's, that's where we're at. Yeah, what's that? Well, thank you so much for stopping by tonight. It is sold out. You guys are one of the first of our seven shows to sell out. So the crowd is really going to be excited to see you. Brilliant. Um, thank you so much for taking some time to stop by. I know you got to probably a pre-show ritual of some sort going on <laughs> anything uh before um, you guys go on chanting I tend to dancing. take some take some red bull and then make it flat so i can drink it and not burp on stage <laughs> that's amazing it's true
And no that, one never, never said happen? that in an interview before, so that's an exclusive. That's brilliant. <laughs> I pour it from cup to cup for about five, ten minutes. Really? Yeah. I'm going to start doing that. I, embarrassingly enough, have coughed, sneezed, and burped on the radio because it yeah. happens that I'm just talking, and it's always embarrassing for me, but now I know. Don't drink fizzy drinks. Thank you so much. <laughs> All day, we are backstage at Ho Ho Show 2013. Cannot wait to see you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for having me.